A pair of extraordinary buildings on Main Street, while not being memorials, are credits to two notable citizens. Nana Lampton, the CEO of American Life and Accident Insurance Company, and David Jones Sr., the founder of Humana, each played key roles in the construction of their company headquarters. The American Life Building and the Humana Building are neighbors, and both share the honor of being among 10 buildings that changed Louisville. KET and AIA Kentucky's 10 Buildings That Changed Louisville series was inspired by the national program which aired on PBS in 2013. Our list and the American one share a link. Architect Mies van der Rohe. Van der Rohe designed the nationally honored New York City Seagram Building and the locally recognized American Life Building. Trolley's trolley across the way, a big hole where the Center for the Arts is. American Life CEO Nana Lampton brought Van der Rohe to the attention of her father, Dinwiddie Lampton. I was very impressed with his simplicity, the character of his buildings, so I'd followed him. And uh, father and I had been through several architects and they weren't really very pleasing. They were, they were too prosaic. They didn't make any statements. So we called Mies van der Rohe over the phone. Of course, he's a businessman. He was at his office in Chicago. And so father and I discussed. He took the commission over the phone and on we went. The design among van der Rohe's last followed his less is more credo. Uh, it's more in the scale of the historic Main Street, four and five, six floors. Uh, but also it, it, it provides that wide expanse and that, that ability to look from Main Street and see horizon out towards the river. It opens up to the Belvedere. Uh, and and when, it, when they first opened, the, the, when the Belvedere would have those big, big weekends, those heritage weekends and the, the bluegrass festivals and things like that, it has an awful lot to do with people starting to go back downtown. It has a sense of belonging to the outside. There's so much light. The windows here on this floor are seven feet by 14 feet. You know, you don't appreciate a Vanderbilt building until you're on the inside looking out. It's not from the outside looking in, it's, it's when you're on the inside. And having been in that building several times, it's just a joy. No matter what direction you look at, you see a lot of the city. Nana Lampton, whose office has a view of the river, says she still gets a feeling of accomplishment from the building, now more than 40 years old. I did follow every day the, the construction so that I was here to helping choose materials. For instance, in this library, which is our only meeting room, we chose walnut. And the walnut is so substantial and so much a part of our lives in the woods of Kentucky. A more recent development is the green of Kentucky, planted on the roof of the American Life Building. These plants are very effective for breathing, and they breathe CO2 and give out oxygen. The higher they are, the better they are. So we have developed a, a group of glade garden, rock garden, and grass garden that really helps the atmosphere. If we could have 50 of them, we'd really be flying in this valley. Fly over the American Life Building, you'll see not only the green roof, but its position on the first surveyed lot in Louisville, what Nana Lampton calls a geometric square centered on community. We have a sense of identity. My grandfather was penniless. He was a Scot. He moved from Springfield to Louisville and said, boys, I'm starting an insurance company. And they said, you're crazy. Oh, to me, this is American. This, this is the way we all have gotten started. We begin with little and build and build and suffer the difficulties and go on. So that's what this building stands for. Across the street from American Life is the Humana Building, another on our list of 10. Humana, I would think uh, whether or not you love it or hate it, uh, you would put it on this list regardless as to uh, your taste in, in the postmodern type aesthetic. David Jones Sr., Humana co-founder, along with Wendell Cherry, selected Michael Graves from a group of competing architects. Unlike Mies van der Rohe, Graves was at the beginning of his career, but Jones says it would be incorrect to say they caught a rising star. Philip Johnson recommended 
Michael to us. We hadn't heard of him. The other architects we selected because we knew of them, and that's how he got into the competition. So he became a rising star as a result of the Humana building, not the other way around. What grades created fit with the co-founder's vision. It was our choice that it be made out of stone. So I think the warmth of the, of the stone and the colors, uh, Michael was an artist, is an artist as well as an architect. He chose all of the wood, he chose all of the, he designed all of the light fixtures. Everything about the building has a personal touch that I think is, is probably unusual. The color uh, and the imagination and the quality of the workmanship and the quality of the materials and just the boldness of it, it, it really does enliven down. It, it, it is a pivotal spot for downtown Louisville. The girders under what they call the front porch are meant to recall Louisville's bridges, the flowing water in the entrance to remind visitors of the falls of the Ohio. We wanted it to be a building that gave back to the city, that could be used by the city. First floor of the building and this floor have been used many, many, many times for fundraisers, for all sorts of voluntary organizations. A landmark in Louisville's skyline, the Humana Building links the city's history with its progress and sets a high bar for future construction. We wanted this building to be built so that anyone after this who built a building in Louisville would spend some time thinking about what they were doing. Most of the buildings have been put up by speculators, by people who pretty much had to build within the amount of money they could borrow. And I think rarely did people think about uh, the impact of architecture on a city. But in its place down here by the river, it, it pays homage to the city and to the river. The front part is low, so it blends with the cast iron buildings to the west. And we didn't try to build the tallest building in town. We just wanted to build the best building in town. Ironically, David Jones' office is no longer in the Humana building. His Main Street Realty shares office space across the street in the American Life building.